Hi folks, thanks for joining me again. I'm Stephen Crown. In today I've got another winter scene, like yesterday's painting, another winter scene, a slightly different angle. So let me show the colours I've used for this one. So on the palette here I've used Ultramarine, Payne's Grey, Raw Sienna, Burnt Umber and Light Red. Most of it done, as always, with the large on Ranton Brook. And I've just used a couple of Riga brushes here, a number three and a size zero. Kick it off with a bit of water and then touch of pine's grey. I'm going to just brush in the sky, just a plain sky, something like that. And then the distant land. Going just up there somewhere, somewhere like that. That's going off there. Then something like so. Um, just determining what colours I'm going to use. It ain't going to be many. Um, Start off with a few trees and things, bushes on this on this hillside. And then there's a few and in front of that a bit of snow and then just a very very light. Really like Little bits of white in between. Now moving over to the other side. Actually, no, no, let's just do the next. Let's do the next. The next um, hedge. Actually, stick. Stay to the right. A bit of brown, a bit of blue. And then up. Back onto here. Something like that. Little, little things going on there. Then what most of these are, they're just little details in the distance. Um, maybe scratching a few. Posts and things that stretch slightly, so let's give that a quick pull that against the uh, paint board. Now, then, um, let's just give that a quick wipe. And moving over onto left hand side something just up there I'll do just a hint of a tree. Now we've got 
got the hedge on this left hand side. That's coming down. Something like that. Let's just use a damp brush. I'm just going to sort of soften off the base of that. Yeah, there's another hedge. That, that's going to come. Something like that. So that's the guideline. Now let's. Stick your finger in if you want to just soften it off a little bit. And again, I'm just going to soften that off a little bit. using my fingernails, just scraping a few posts and whatnot, all these little details, let's have some along there as well. Back to this brush again. In the brush, I want some sort of some tracks. I'm, I'm going with this ultramarine for the tracks, and with the sort of they just sort of work in the way up there, like that. Another one on this side. Let's cut these up a bit. Impression that's sort of going around the corner as well. Just put your fingers in there and just, just have a play around with it. I don't know why I bothered cleaning the brush because I'm going for a dark one now. Um, actually, first. Stick in. Let's just give it a little bit higher. Oh, yeah. I do like. Let's have a few telegraph poles. Well, let's get some of these hedges in a little bit darker, they, they look a bit, they're too, um, actually I should have scraped this in afterwards, shouldn't I, because I'm going to paint straight over it now, and I'll, just a little bit darker, so I'll just re, I'll just re-scrape, scrape that back in. Darken this a little bit as well. Just scuff up the base a bit. Do 
did before, just scrape out the odd little bit of fence post. And don't be too particular about it, just remember just keep it as loose, as loose as you like. And then just use a just a dry brush, just scuff it up and just, just blend everything in a bit. Right, let's get make sure that's flat. What I might do is put a little bit of shadow in here and there. Um, just a bit of brown, a bit of blue, sort of grey, just make a sort of grey mix. Something like that. And stop it from spraying all over me. Um, it's just a good shadow cutting straight across there. Up there. Put a shadow for that for that as well. Um, and we should have done this at the same time. Um, uh, so we're just giving something like. these guys just stood up there by the guys as well. I don't know if you'll see the shadows from where it is. I'll stick some in anyway just in case. And I think I'm I think I'm done now with that. Um, I'm just gonna sign it down here. I'm gonna call that one finished. Uh, let's stick a mount on that and see what it looks like. 
So there's that finished painting the main. So we're going to have a closer look at it. Pretty flat wash uh, blue sky. There's a touch of Payne's grey in there as well, just a hint of the raw sheen, I think there was as well. And then using those same three colours, but with a bit more, with a bit of brown in there as well, I think it was. Just putting these distant hedges and things and hills. And just about to see a few telegraph poles as well in the distance. And coming forward, got another hedge here. This time I've left the paper below it white, just for pure white snow. Scraped a few posts in here and there. See our little man and his dog there, just walking off towards the towards the gate. And then just framed this pathway with these hedges either side. Cast some shadows as well, just straight across. Straight across the path, just to give the impression of a little, little bit of light there in the winter sky. Then you just use a bit of blue, just for a couple of tracks leading up to our little, little figures there. So that's it for this one, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks always for watching your support. If you get the chance you can join me over at patreon.com slash Stephen Crony for loads more videos and um, community page there where everyone can post their own painting. So thanks for watching, if you've got any questions please ask. And I'll see you again soon.